Next, I want to talk about Asset Center, version 8. It's the new version out there. Asset Center is the change management software. Uh, some of the new enhancements that this version offers provides for you uh, mass asset creation. In the old version, you had to individually, individually go in and create a, each asset, add it to the, the tree. Now you can export out, you can go do that in Excel or some other editor externally and bulk create your assets and then dump them back into the, uh, into the asset center. Uh, it has an inventory agent uh, to take advantage of the uh, lifecycle uh, support uh, information. Uh, if you're familiar with Rockwell's PCDC, Product Compatibility and Download Center, uh, you can go in there and find out the lifecycle information for any piece of hardware device out there. Asset Center now has a, this agent, collects a file of all your devices out there. You take that file, you go to the website, run it through its utility there, and it'll generate you a report that will give you the life cycle status of your devices. So you can find out which ones are active, active, mature, end of life, and things like that. So you can uh, more easily identify where you need to focus your attention um, for future replacement. Um, added several wizards to uh, do some file management underneath the hood. There's a lot of attachments and things that are generated uh, within Asset Center. So. Uh, uh, some wizards to allow you to extract those out of the log as well as uh, cleaning up your archive files and things like that. Uh, they've added a generic FTP compare utility in there. So Rockwell uses its own compare utilities for the Rockwell products, but you may be tracking uh, a third-party software that uh, can't be, you can't compare it. They've added this utility in there so you can program it to use third-party compare utilities to provide you that information there. And uh, archiving of the factory talk directory now. So I would say why they haven't done that before in the past, because it's a part of the system, but it, it's, as I thought about it, it has to do with assets, and I guess that directory is not really considered an asset, but I'm sure it's probably something that's been asked for.